Hi everyone, welcome to Laundry Talk. Today I'm going to do my first tag ever, 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 ever. So thank you very much to Mama Friendly for tagging me and now I get to do my first tag. So here we go. As I mentioned a moment ago, I got tagged by Mama Friendly and I will put her link down below so that you guys can check out her video or just overall her channel. She is so awesome and has such good content. So now let's get started. Question number uno, number one. It says, my favorite song that basically gets me into the holiday spirit. That would be rocking around the Christmas tree at the Christmas party hop. Huh? I love that song by Brenda Lee. Uh, there have been other, like I saw another person, I forgot what the name of the other person was, uh, that did an album in 2004, but my favorite is from Brenda Lee. I think it's from 1958. So that's just my favorite, gets me into the spirit. I hear it every year, obviously sometimes way before Christmas, and I just feel like it's Christmas, that's it, even in September. If I hear this song, I'm like, I'm done, let's do this. So question number two. Parade versus lights. I have never actually been to um, the Christmas parade. So like on Macy's, I guess, I think they have a Christmas parade. I've never been to any parade like that. So I always would choose lights over the parades. I love the show of lights downtown in New York. I love um, just lights in general over the holiday. Question number three, Christmas gifts on Christmas Eve. So growing up, we used to actually open our presents. I on midnight so at 12 a.m. which means we hey Merry Christmas it's 25th we would open the gifts at night but as I got older and I had my own family as I actually mentioned in a video that I did old and new traditions and I will put the link for that video below um, I mentioned that I have changed some traditions from when I was growing up to then after having my children and now I do Christmas in the morning of the 25th so no for the Christmas Eve's gifts at night so number four, fa favorite holiday tradition, and my favorite holiday tradition is playing games, like board games or any games that we play as a family, as a group. So this year around, we actually played Scattergories. It was so much fun. Sometimes things get a little heated because we tend to like bend the rules a bit, and it just gets to the point that it's like, what? Like, are we still playing the game? Or we just decided to like scratch it and do our own thing. But it's so much fun because we get to learn things from each other as well as just enjoying the game itself. And then that allows us, the adults, to have fun together or the older kids while the younger kids get to just run around and play and do fun things. So that's our moment. I love it. I love to do it on Christmas Eve. And also after we open the gifts on Christmas morning, we also play games after that. So that's my favorite part of the holiday traditions. Number five, does Christmas start before Thanksgiving or after Thanksgiving? So to me, Christmas kind of, it starts before, like it's just a little bit of Christmas, even from like September sometimes, you get a little bit of Christmas, a lot of stores start putting their Christmas things by like probably August or something, I, as I found out now that I'm YouTubing. And I, just, I get a little bit of the Christmas, but my full blown Christmas really starts after Thanksgiving. That's when we put the tree, that's when we put lights, that's where we do decorations, that's where I actually started doing my um, YouTube videos this year, since it's my first year YouTubing. So that's actually when we really, really get full-blown Christmas everywhere, everybody, everything. So Christmas before Thanksgiving, no. The answer is after. Number six, what did my kids want for Christmas? Um, I guess I, I take it as being... Um, Lucky, fortunate, I don't know. My kids usually never really want anything. They, they never have a Christmas list. Like literally, like my daughter asked for something the eve before the eve of Christmas. So they really don't ask for anything. And what she asked for was a, a ball that has like little beads inside and you kind of squish it. 
And then she asked for, I forgot what it was. It was something real simple or a book or something like that. And then she's like, I have nothing else. I don't know. Um, so my kids, you know, thank God are really simple. They don't ask for much. They don't really feel like they need anything else other than what they already have. So that's a blessing. Uh, but I do, throughout the year, I go listening, you know, to things that they want or what are they into. You know, kids, they change all the time. One day they're into something, like a week later they're into something else. And forget about mentioning the one that they were into the week before that. So, uh, but my kids don't really ask for much. And so I try to just get them things that I know that they'll like based on their personalities at the moment around Christmas, based on their like their constant likes things that don't change in this case reading my my two girls they love 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 reading my 21 year old and my 10 year old so they love reading um my 21 year old loves board games like i mentioned earlier with the categories or boggle or scrabble or things like that um, my younger one is getting into those as well so um they didn't really ask for anything they never really ask for anything so i kind of have to work hard on knowing what they want so question number seven, do you and your family do matching pajamas? We didn't do matching pajamas like for like ever. And then three years ago in 2016, we started this wanting to do matching pajamas. That year we did matching pajamas. We had emoji pajamas. Oh my God, I was so stinking cute. And so my mother had it, my two girls had the pajamas, I had them and it was awesome and I loved it and I've been wanting to do it ever since, but I guess by the time I started actually shopping for pajamas and finding the same exact pajamas for like everyone, it just gets really complicated. And we really don't want to end up with pajamas that we really don't like just to match them. So, but, however, although, this year we didn't do the matching pajamas for Christmas itself, but see behind me these decorations? This is actually for my daughter's um, first birthday, my baby's first birthday. And so for her first birthday, some of us will have matching pajamas. So stick, stay tuned for that. All right, number eight. At what time do we wake up on Christmas? We don't exactly have like a set time to wake up on Christmas, like, oh, every Christmas wake up at seven or nine or eight or whatever the case is. Um, we do have family members that come in the morning or, or my best friend will come in the morning with her daughter. And so we don't have a set time to start. We usually aim to all be together at my place at eight, um, sometimes maybe nine, but it's kind of pushing it because the kids kind of wake up early and they really want to open their gifts. So let's say we start at nine to open gifts, nine, nine thirty. That's, that's a good time. Nine, nine thirty. Okay. Um, number nine, nine, nine thirty. number nine, now is number nine. So number nine, my favorite holiday food and my favorite holiday food is pernil, which is pork shoulder. And I really, really love the parts that are extra cooked or like crispy, not the, um, not the fat, but like the meat part where it's nice and toasty and well cooked. So that's my favorite part of the pernil. Number 10, should ugly sweaters be ugly? Yeah, that's the whole point of being ugly. They're supposed to be ugly sweaters. Um, I just feel like people call them ugly because a lot of times they have like a lot of designs or a lot of little trinkets or um, things sewn on them like pom-poms or strings or bells. But I kind of think they're cute, but though like they're kind of ugly because, I don't know, they're just overgrown usually. Like I'm a medium and the shirt would fit like super big. My shoulder would be like up to here the the thread of the lining or whatever you call that and the sleeves are big and it's just big and fluffy in a way but i think they're kind of cute i am into them and i love ugly sweater parties and just seeing what everyone creates because sometimes you just don't buy them people create them so yes to ugly sweaters the last question is christmas countdown or advent calendar um i do the countdown for my daycare where we write the date the, the days that are left, and then we just keep counting down. The kids are so excited, Christmas is coming. It's a great big thing at my day. Now for the Advent, I have never done it, but this year I really, really wanted to do it and I couldn't get an Advent calendar. But now that the holidays have actually passed, so I will do the best I can to get a good deal on an Advent calendar. And I actually found one, but it was missing one of the little drawers 
that is so messed up like why 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 so cute but if i do get one guys i'll just show you what i got so that i can use that for next year so i'm looking forward to advent calendar next year anyway again thank you so much to mama friendly for tagging me in this tag my first ever thank you so much it is really really fun so i might do more tags it's kind of cool um again mama friendly I will put her the link to her channel below. Thank you so much. Don't forget to smile and love you guys. Thank you so much for your support.